Good evening, uh, Harden here, back with another Eve Echoes video. Um, don't have anything particularly uh, to demonstrate tonight. Uh, really, this is to mark the fact that I've actually just made it to 100 subscribers. Only taken <laughs> about four years or so, but I have reached uh, 100 subscribers. So I do want to thank those of you who have uh, followed and subscribed. I hope some of you do find my content interesting. Um, anyway, what I will do is I'm going to jump in and quickly demonstrate my latest setup for ratting uh, in 0.0 in NALSEC. Um, I'll just kind of quickly run through you through my setup. Um, I'm currently using the Torpedo setup, which I found works pretty pretty well. Um, that is seven large torpedo light, uh, launchers, um, two target painters, and two webs. Um, uh, I did until recently have a large uh, energy neutralizer on there just as a kind of defense if any inties come in and attack me but actually I've never actually used it uh, because the uh, I tend to keep quite a close eye on local I tend to keep quite a close eye on Alliance chat um, and I've very rarely been jumped and remember I'm also flying with two other Ravens who also have webs also have uh, drones um, so as I've never used a large neutralizer, I just kind of thought I might as well put the uh, extra web on because it does help when you're warping in at zero, um, especially later in the wave where some of the NPCs get in close to you. It does help kill things a little bit quicker with the torpedo. So um, that's how I've optimized it. You can see there that the DPS is 3,239 which is pretty decent and then when I activate um, the uh, missile the ballistic control that goes up to about 3,700 um, and you can see in terms of the tank it's just one large shield booster and two um, two uh, hardeners and um, just uh, again uh, a kind of ease of life benefit is the uh, apart from the two ballistics I've also got the tracking computer on there which increases the missiles range to let me just check um, to approximately 30 kilometers 29.84 which again if you're warping in at zero 99% of the time everything is within 30 kilometers uh, but you do occasionally some of the some of the NPCs do drift out to about 30 31 um, and the other thing is once you activate the tracking computer your range jumps up to about 45 50 so um, if you have all three ships shooting one or two of the ships that are left at the end of a wave um, you should be able to kill those just by activating the uh, tracking computer uh, finally I'll just kind of show you where I am in terms of upgrading my uh, nano core on this which is a um, thermodynamic which I got early on and I've gradually been working on it um, so you can see here I've got missile torpedo damage is 18% missile torpedo damage again 8.66% uh, which are both or the, the 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 first one is the automatic bonus the second one is one that I've kind of respun until I got something a bit decent capacitor is at the low end um, you can see there I, I could probably push that up by another three or four percent which would be helpful uh, then I've got missile torpedo thermal damage which is a 9.53 so it's not not the not the top end but um, is it well it's at the, at the top end but not kind of in the uh, sort of yellow bracket uh, the shield there is an extra eight well basically nine percent so that's something I could push up again if I had more of the uh, of these things which is the uh, cloud AI learning code and then finally I have been over time over time um, doing additional spins on this to try and get this completed get another uh, you can see here I can get some kinetic damage uh, so to missile torpedo kinetic damage um, and you can see I'm only two slots out but it's exceedingly slow because trying to obtain these um, is very very tough the triangular structures um, I'm picking up maybe about five or six six per uh per concord pass with all the points and opening the boxes and then you get occasionally get some random ones 
um, and uh, you can buy them from the store if you uh, with Plex and other things but they're so stupidly expensive um, I don't really bother so it's been taking time and it was really annoying on the level before I actually did I think it was four I had four failed attempts which was really really annoying um, so anyway I've got two more levels there if I can eventually turn that into another eight to ten percent of damage uh, for my missiles that would be really really nice and then I can do the same on my other two accounts um, so I really put a lot of time and effort into these um, again I haven't as I said I have I haven't uh, spent money as in I haven't gone out and bought uh, bought stuff from the store to try and, and and boost this I've just been doing it with the stuff I've been getting from the Concord passes concentrating on these rather than anything else because these are my main ships for PvP and for PvE so anyway that's just a little bit of background on my thermodynamic um, and the stats on that um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of demonstrate a little bit of ratting now in my uh, corpse home system uh, you're aware I'm part of Xanadu which is part of SHH Alliance uh, we had that big war with GenFed which seems to be pretty much over still some kind of uh, skirmishes going on I did spend some time down in the south um, but it wasn't very productive I was down there for three days and kind of twiddling my thumbs for the whole the whole period um, main issue is that I only get like one or two hours to play so um, often the case is you start they they start forming up fleets for CTAs and by the time they formed up the fleet I'm already having to kind of log off so um, it wasn't really very productive time so it's better just kind of stick around here and contribute to the corp in the form of taxes and donations and everything else so um, anyway uh, let's just get started tonight and uh, as I said I've been practicing with the, the torpedoes uh, ever since the patch that came in uh, and I think I've kind of got a system now that works quite well I can kind of tear through larges and mediums pretty damn quickly um, and I'm picking up about 10 million isk per account uh, in uh, uh, per tick so it's about 30 million across the three accounts per tick which doesn't include the kind of new bonus things that NetEase brought in so let's have a look at what's available we'll have a look at the missions here uh, let's see Sorry, I'm just on my other two accounts, just setting up the overview properly. Okay, so I see there's a large there. Is anyone else in it? I don't want to go into something else. No, nope, it looks empty. So I'm going to do fleet command, uh, warp fleet, and I'm going to go in at zero. Uh, just turn on my tank on my other two ships, which is on now. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So we're warping in there. Uh, let's have a look at the time. It is 8.55 p.m. here. So you'll get an idea of how quickly you can turn these uh, around with this kind of setup. Um, very high damage setup. And I'll explain my tactics as we go. I'm sure there's better ways of doing this. Uh, but this certainly kind of works for me. And again, uh, there is actually this guy, Triple Helix, who's in the vicinity, uh, not far away from here, but he seems to be going in the opposite direction. So again, the important thing with ratting is do keep an eye on your on your local, do keep an eye on your alliance chat, um, and that, that tends to keep you safe. So here we are, first wave of the large, uh, and we're kind of arriving directly on top of the beacon here. So uh, I'm just gonna start locking with all my ships as soon as that comes up there we go there we go and there we go so this ship is going to hit the rogue my second ship is going to hit the drake and my third ship is going to hit the blackbird my third ship is also then going to go onto the heron and my second ship is going to go onto the manticore and i'm going to put on my target painters because again they those really do help with the damage application uh, I'm not going to bother with uh, any of my ballistic controls on this wave because this wave tends to die pretty rapidly already. Now the other thing I tend to do is when I warp in, uh, is especially on the larges, is I orbit the beacon at zero. Uh, this again just helps with some damage mitigation because uh, even with this tank and with the amount of damage, if you get the full large wave on one ship, your shield will start going down. Um, so you have to kill stuff quickly and it does help just to kind of minimize some incoming damage so let's have a look 
So I'm on the Manticore there. Uh, okay, one of my ships should have been hitting the Heron, but wasn't. So anyway, everybody's on the Heron. So that was a bit of a waste of time there because I should have taken the Heron out. I had two ships shooting at the same target. So I just keep an eye on there. Uh, but that Heron has gone now. So we're on to the second wave here, wave two of six. All right, so again, same tactic here. This ship will target the Scorpion, the largest. My second ship will take out the Ferox. And my third ship is going to focus on the Caracal. Again, target painters on all of those. And then, uh, let me see, my third ship is going to hit the Cormorant next. Uh, then my second ship is going to hit the Heron next. And... Um, that's fine for now and what I will do is I will actually apply the ballistic control here and the corner on there and this is going to go on the heron and just so you can see this is the DPS with one of those ballistics active now so you can see 3700 DPS and I get and I've got the smaller medium skills quite high so that means that my ballistics do tend to be active for quite a while and there you go that's the second wave done and now we're on to wave three. So now we've got multiple battleships here. So what I tend to do is I have all of my ships on a battleship in the first round. So I'm gonna hit the Scorpion here. Uh, my second ship is gonna go for the Rogue. And my third ship is going to go for the Raven. They're all just within that 30 kilometer range. I'm hoping none of them drift out on this one. Um, and after that, the Scorpion, I'm going to switch to the Naga on this one. On my second ship, I'm going to hit the Moa. And on my third ship, I'm going to just kind of let it auto-target some of the smaller stuff. And again, I'm going to activate the Ballistic Control so we get a full 3,700 DPS on all of these. So um, the, my third ship now has got its double webs on and it will start auto targeting the closest thing. So what I need to do is make my this first ship always target something further away and my second ship target stuff further away and the bigger stuff, which uh, meanwhile with the double webs and double painter, my uh, third ship will just kind of start automatically eliminating all the close stuff. So you can see I've swapped onto, you see they're popping really quickly now. And they're all still in range, which is good. Although the scorpion, oh, that's why the scorpion signal. I'm going to actually apply the tracking computer there, so you can see that I will start hitting the scorpion again. Hopefully, it's enough. And uh, let's see, we're going to go onto the caracal here with this one, so that you can see with the tracking computer, I've actually I'm actually getting some hits on the scorpion. Is it going to be enough? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe not. Okay, so we're going to leave that till the end of my other two ships. We'll have some range then. Yeah, so again, this is quite rare. You don't normally see them going out too far, but here for some reason we've got a Caracal that's drifted beyond 30. Um, and the Naga that's drifted. Um, actually, a bit of a pain. Okay. But luckily, oh, I didn't have my target. Luckily, the tracking computer cycles quite quickly. One of my other ships, let's see, uh, I can do the tracking computer there. The Scorpion should take one more volley and it will die. There we go. So we're now onto wave four of six. And again, this is going to have multiple battleships. Um, okay, so we've got two rokes that I can see here. So we'll hit the first one, focus fire. Again, target painter on there. Uh, and then on my next account, again on a rogue, there we go. And my third account will hit the drake because there's no rogue there for no other battleship for it to hit. And again, let's do the ballistic control, boost up the DPS 3700. Um, and then my, I'm going to leave my third account to auto target. We'll switch the heron. Um, and this one I'm going to put onto the other rogue here. And here, this one's hitting a heron. I don't know why. Let's 
put that on and then he will go on to this caracal. Okay. So he's hitting the caracal and then after that we'll go for the raven. And the guy that's on the rogue will go for the osprey at 25 kilometers. And my third account will keep hitting. So again, we've still got a lot of bad guys here. So again, I'm gonna now cycle another ballistic control, which means that they won't be all available on the last wave, uh, at the beginning of the wave anyway. So that's on the Raven, that's on the Roken going on the Osprey. After that, this will go on to the other Raven. And you can see they're going down pretty rapidly. That's on the Osprey and will also go on to the Raven. And my third ship is just working through the Manticore and then we'll go on to the Corax. And the Osprey is down, so my other battleship is onto that Raven that's a little bit further away. And again, both of my ballistics are on cooldown now. Hopefully one of them will be ready fairly early into the final uh, like DPS wave. Okay. Just wait for this one to go down. All three of my ships are shooting it, it's in range so it won't take too long. There we go. Alright, and the final kind of DPS wave here. Uh, the big wave. This one, if they do all if they do if they do land on top of you, which happens sometimes and they're all targeting one ship, you will find your shields will start going down. So it's important to kill stuff quickly. Alright, so I'm gonna hit the rogue here, focus fire, that's the primary on that one. Then my second account is gonna hit a scorpion. And my third account is also gonna hit a scorpion. One that's a bit closer. Uh, I would like to activate my ballistics here, but uh, I cannot yet. And uh, let's see, after this one I'm going to go onto that Corax and I'm going to put my webs on. And then this account is going to go onto the Naga. And this account will go on to the Blackbird. Okay, so there we can put the ballistics on. You can see I am taking some shield damage there on uh, this account. So you can see three battleships are going to be out of the way fairly soon. And then I'm actually going to leave this account auto-targeting on all close stuff. And my other two accounts will hit the stuff further away. Okay, so there. Okay, so he's on the Corax now. Okay, and my other account's on the Blackbird. And he will go for a Naga after that. And my other account is going to go on to... Uh, let's see, it's all quite small stuff. Onto a Comorant. And then there's another Naga at 15. Oh, okay, and we've got the Ballistics are back up again, which is good. Okay. So you see this one is just auto-targeting the closest target, so I just have to make sure my other ships are hitting stuff further away. So I was going to go to a Caracal, and now I'm going to go on to a Blackbird. And indeed, oh, I just realized I haven't got my, got my target paints on, and I might as well just use these tracking computers. They do, they do actually help with applying a little bit of extra damage as well. So this stuff is dying. Okay, there's another Raven there. Oh, at 30 kilometers. Uh, and there's also a Rogue. Um, the Raven, unfortunately, has drifted out to 30 kilometers. So I'm actually gonna approach this guy because I don't wanna kind of use my tracking computer on that. So let's have a look. Uh, but I want to still kill the stuff. That's closer first. Oh, well, hitting. So we've got two ships hitting the Raven now, and one is hitting. The, well, actually, all three are on the Raven now. Hopefully, they're in range. They should be. 
so it won't last too long. And my ship that's hitting the rogue is going to go onto the heron. And the other thing is, let's actually collect some loot. Let's see what loot is in range here. There is actually quite a bit. I don't like until when I was sniping, didn't bother collecting the loot, but now I'm closer. That's one other thing I will eventually do is I do have one account that has some industrial skills. Um, I will at some point uh, get round to getting one of those auto looters uh, and collecting on that one account. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, so now we're on to the final wave. Okay, which is the industrial wave. So what I'll do here is I'm going to focus on one of the meteor ones at this account. And then my other account is also going to hit one of the meteor ones. And this one is going to go for something a bit smaller and then swap around. And again, might as well add the DPS here. Let's see, after that one we will swap onto the one of the other mammoths and this one will also swap onto a, another mammoth. And still collecting loot on my other account. And what I'm also going to do now is I'm also going to get ready for going to the next belt. So we're going to look at the mission. There's another large anomaly here. Okay, someone in there. There's another large here. Okay, fleet command, approach fleet. Oh, what happened there? Oh, yes. I need to check fleet command, approach fleet. And then I just acknowledge on my other two accounts. And actually, let's approach this guy because he's just drifting out of range. And again, stick all the tracking computers on there now. So, and uh, let's see. So, that's a large. You could, you saw from when I walked in was nine. Uh, sorry, eight fifty-five. It's nine nine oh eight. So that's thirteen minutes to clear a large, uh, which is pretty decent. And I'm just going to warp in here. Fleet command. My ships are aligned. Warp fleet. Warp at zero. And my ships will turn around and you can see here my tank is just running with no bother keeping me at about 50 percent shield uh, the two hardeners so uh, i can just keep doing this as long as i want obviously keeping an eye on local um, and just kind of making sure everything is okay all right so anyway that's all for this video uh, again just wanted to show off how um, my current kind of routing setup with uh, with the torpedoes um, thank you for watching. Thank you again if uh, for subscribing. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, please do, please do uh, ding that bell uh, and uh, please do like my videos. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, have a good evening, uh, good day, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.